So welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at a brand new game from Decision Games, and this is called Corrupt Bargain. This is the 1824 presidential election. So my history knowledge of this is not great, but basically uh, none of the four candidates won... Um, I don't think any of them won like a plurality of the electoral college. That not, not like none of them won appropriately according to the American system, and so it went to like a contingent vote in the House of Representatives, and then that then decided who was the president. I don't know if you'd consider it kind of like a runoff style election, but only you know you're now getting votes just from uh, Congress, etc. But Basically, this is a two to four player um, area influence kind of election style game. Uh, so, you know, you can play it just two sides or you can play it with four players. We'll probably do both at some point. Uh, you're not going to play this solitaire, unfortunately. Uh, but this is a piece of history I frankly know almost nothing about. Uh, but is one that I'm very interested to, to, dig, to dig my teeth into. And I say that because... Decision Games recently, recently, a couple of years ago, did a game called um, Bleeding Kansas, which is also a very interesting piece of uh, U.S. history, which I don't know much about. Uh, we've played games like Five Points, Gangs of New York, even 1960 Making of a President. There's a lot of these just political themed games out there that are both that are also historical, that shed light on some very interesting and important points in U.S. history, uh, or just history generally that, you know, th that you just don't know a lot about, but, you know, ha have a lot of very interesting things and make for very interesting games as well. So, let's crack this open and see what we've got in here. So, to start with, we have uh, one, two, three, four of these little play-aid cards. It has a little sequence of play on one side, uh, from the campaign turns down to the final push, the electoral college, and then the contingent election. So, I presume you do a bunch of stuff, and then at the end you kind of resolve the actual election part of it very much uh, like you do in other styles of these games and then on the other side it tells you the different actions that you can take uh, and then it has some insight stuff which I'm not quite sure what that is so there's four of those and those are planted on card uh, we've got those there we have a board this is a kind of a smaller 22 by 17 maybe uh, we will open this here in just a second and you know what we're going to take a look at it now actually so it comes in a bag. Let's kind of slide it out here properly. Okay, and this is... There we go. Alright, so we've got most of uh, what was the US at the time, I think. I think, so we've got... Uh, all right, and these are divided up into this. We've got the north, the west, and the south down here uh, as the major areas. Uh, looks like we've got ourselves a track for... This is a turn track for different player counts. It ends at different times with how many turns you're going to get. This is, looks like an insight track over here as well. And these are... These, these are, I would presume holding boxes for these very small states down here um, so that you don't just get overloaded with a bunch of cubes but this is the board you're playing on very functional but also very clear everything's very crisp on there which we appreciate we don't have a ton of green red uh, for our colorblind folks out there so that's nice appreciate that they did that as well <clears throat> so the rule book uh, decision games rule book we got full color kind of a two column style but I think that's the rules. <laughs> I think that was all of it. I think it was, at best, that's not a page. This is set up, which is nice. So the actual rules, one, two, three, four, four pages of rules. Is that true? Are there more? Nope, everything else is um, history notes and a little bibliography at the back there as well. So that's it. And this is, you know, it's not some massive Hex Encounter War game. This is an area influence game that you're going to use to generate the outcome of an election, basically. Now, how you go about doing that, that's the game, but a very 
approachable game with a, just a couple stacks, a uh, couple pages of rules, which we appreciate that very much. So we have here state cards, if I could open these, which I cannot. Come on. They've made this. They're, they're packaged for your freshness and they're packaged extremely well. Let me get a knife. Perform some surgery on this. There we go. Okay. So these are the state cards. You see, it says state on the back of them. And these are very small, kind of your yeah, Fantasy Flight style cards. And each one of these represents one of the states on the board, of which is there are 24 in this. 28. I don't know if that's actually a number of the state. I don't know if that's true. Is that? Two, well, this will tell us here. 25. Okay. I guess there's 25 different states here at this point in time. And so I presume as you take control of these, you'll get the card, and then that's an easy way to tabulate points. <coughs> so we have a couple of decks of cards. We've got some politician cards, it looks like. And we have some event cards over there. So let's open these up. Okay. So we have the politician cards. All right, cool. We do have some different decks, I thought so. So we got politician cards. So we've got blue politician cards. And then we have these red populist cards. And we will nose through those here in just a second. And we'll see what we've got in this deck. And the setup had them kind of all in uh, stacks off to the side of the board. So then this one we have our event deck, which is very big. Is it all of the cards? No. Yeah, it is. And then uh, some more of these blue politician cards. Okay, so the politician cards, bleh, these cards, they have a blue back on them, and this is putting putting guys out or removing guys from the board. So this is minus one rival um, kind of cylinder, we'll call it, in Mississippi, or plus one cylinder in Connecticut. So this is going to be probably one of your main ways of putting guys out. You play a politician, they go out campaigning, I suppose, gaining support or hurting their rivals, things like that. So that's what those are. We have the populist cards, similar type of thing, adding cubes. So I don't know if we've got, let's see, we can't find out very quickly. Cubes are the populace and the cylinders or the, the hexagons, I suppose, are the uh, or the octagons, I apologize. They are the politicians. So we'll probably end up with a bunch of populace, and then you're putting <coughs> politicians to influence the populace there, I would imagine. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, you're adding a bunch of cubes to these different states with these cards, and then you're adding the octagonal cylinders uh, to, uh, to, to those different states as well. And then the rest of this is an event deck, <clears throat> and this has a lot of a mixture of everything so this is add three cylinders in New York for example or well, this one is two cubes in North Carolina and one cube in the south and then draw a populist card so these have uh, a lot of strength and I wonder if these politicians and populist ones are bonus cards that you play alongside these additionally these also have historical notes on them so this is the Albany Argus and then it's got a kind of some quote text down here as well. So that'll be, you know, always like, because again, I don't know nothing about this. The, uh, having a little bit of flavor, a little bit of extra text on there is always helpful. And they do have symbols on them. So we've got this like, uh, this sailing ship symbol. We've got a chain symbol for slavery, presumably. And then, uh, like a wagon symbol for movement. So I don't know if those also perform a function. Or if that's flavor-wise, I'm not sure, but I presume that they might have a function. But that's everything that you get cards-wise. Everything else in this game <clears throat> is an absolute ton of player pieces. So again, this is a four-player game. Oh, and I spoke too soon about the red-green, but that's okay. Uh, so these are the octagons, these are the, the politicians, and then these red ones are the populace. So those are going to get put out. You got them in four different colors. We've got red, blue, green, and yellow. And then we have these black cylinders, which are true cylinders, and these are lockdown cylinders. So I presume there comes a point at which 
no more influence or people can be changed in that particular area, is what it sounds like, but I could be wrong. Um, <clears throat> but that's, that's what you get in this game. Uh, very nice components, extremely nice. Four pages of rules for an area control in end effect election style game at the end of it. So I'm very excited for this. Uh, decision games, like I said, they did Bleeding Kansas, which is kind of a different style game, uh, but kind of a similar family of ideas. It's putting guys out, trying to influence an election, but, in, you know, some very different concepts in that one than this one, I believe. But uh, th that was very good. This is in a similar type of vein, although it's not part of a series or anything like that. So I do have some pretty decent expectations from this. I do like this style of game, in fairness to myself. Uh, so just know that. But we will play this one, let you know how this is. Uh, but appreciate you very much for tuning in. This is Corrupt Bargain uh, from Decision Games. And I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com.